Hello my YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a simple holiday look slash get ready with me. I haven't done a get ready with me in a while. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I have kind of a theme in mind. I really want bright, glowy, highlighted kind of skin to be kind of like the center of the look and then do a pop of color on the lip. But I'm keeping everything pretty simple actually. So if you enjoy these types of videos, be sure to give this one a thumbs up and let me know. And don't forget to subscribe because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mount Standard Time. Alrighty, you guys, I'm actually going to like a gift exchange a little later, so perfect timing to do a holiday look. So of course I will have everything that I use linked down below in the description if you are curious. For primer, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. This gives such a pretty base to your skin, like it blurs your pores, makes your skin look incredibly smooth, and just really adds like a nice soft blurring effect to your skin. And a little bit of this goes a very long way as well. All right, so for foundation, when I think like a holiday look, I think a foundation that looks really good in photography. So I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. Now I'm gonna try to go in with a little bit lighter hand because I've noticed that this foundation can look a little bit heavy if you apply too much, but if you apply kind of with a lighter hand, it looks really, really nice. I mean, a little goes a long way with this and it smells like peaches. So if you're super sensitive to smells, I would not recommend just a brand the brand as a whole, Too Faced, because they have a lot of really fragrant and very like potent items, you know? Lately, I've been trying to go for more of a lighter coverage look. Even if it's more of a full coverage foundation, I just take a little bit less of it. I don't know, it feels like it looks less makeup-y and a little bit more skin-like. And I just take a little bit extra on like my acne spots just to add more coverage there. Okay, have you guys listened to the new Taylor Swift album? I'm loving it. I loved Folklore. I thought it was really awesome. And so I'm so excited that she did like a sister album to it. If you haven't heard it, it's called Evermore. And you should listen to it because it's really good. Okay, so see how I'm taking like not very much at a time and just kind of working with the smaller amount and blending it in. Then if I need more, I'll grab a little bit more. Okay, so I think I'm happy with how that is looking. It looks, you can definitely still see my skin through this foundation, but I didn't apply like tons of it. Like I said, you can still see my skin through this foundation. So what I'm going to do is actually, when I go in with my concealer, I'm going to add just a little bit more to those spots that you can see. I'm gonna take my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I've been really enjoying using this and just taking it on my fingers and blending it in like that, really easy. And take a little bit more on these little spots right here. You know, that way I'm just using the amount that I need to cover up those specific areas rather than taking more foundation and having it look more heavy or cakey. Now I'm going to set everything down with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is just gonna help solidify the matteness of the foundation and it's going to keep everything in place. I am gonna set down my entire face, but I'm being careful not to pick up too much powder, just cause this foundation is already pretty matte, so I don't necessarily need like tons of powder to make it more matte. And I always take my little tiny eyeshadow brush and take a little bit of powder and go like on the inside of my nose. I mean, not the inside of my nose, but just like right on the outer edge because it's like a pet peeve for me for some reason. I just can never get foundation totally like seamless there. And so I just kind of take a little bit and dab it and it tends to help bring the foundation all the way in my nose, but not in my nose, you know? And I'm gonna take that same concealer, use it as an eyeshadow base. Oh crap, that's what I was gonna do. I have to pluck my eyebrows. If I don't do it now, it's just not gonna happen. So give me one second. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna take like a momentary pause while I fix my eyebrows because they need to be done. Not great practice to like put your foundation on and stuff and then do this, but whatever. Okay, I think that's good. I know that my brows are now just like a little bit red. That's okay, I could just use my, you know, my little NARS stuff here. And there we go. It's not like perfect, but it's better. So now I'm actually going to do my eyebrows with the Anastasia brow pencil. I need to repurchase the Milani brow pencil and that's 
I don't know, I've just been like avoiding doing that. So that's why I'm using this one. See, doesn't that look like so much better than what they were? I'm gonna set them down using the Milk Kush Eyebrow Gel. This stuff is so pigmented, so you have to be really careful. Now I'm gonna take my Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light Ambient Lighting Bronzer, just to add a little bit of glow and like, you know, life back to my skin. Except this is very pigmented, so you have to be kind of careful. Alrighty, bronzer done. I'm going to take this NARS Orgasm blush. It just was kind of the first thing that I grabbed and it was a little bit glowy, so I was like, sure. Alrighty, and then for highlight, I really want to use the Smashbox Spotlight Palette in the shade Pearl. Now, I want to use this one in particular. This is like the vibe that I'm going for today. So I'm going to take that on my highlight brush. Take it down the center of my nose. I'm also gonna add it like above my brow just a little. I'm going to take the So Jaded palette from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. When I did that video the other day doing my makeup in alphabetical order, uh, that was super fun and it like reintroduced me to some of these products that I was like, wow, I need to reuse these because they're very good. So eyes are gonna be really simple, just like a little bit of crease color, but not very much. So I think I'm going to start very lightly with the shade Jasper. It's this one right here. I'm gonna start working this into the crease. And I just want a tiny bit of a crease shade. I do not want this to be very pigmented or super noticeable. It's just something to give a little bit of definition. I'm really taking my time to like blend this out even though I didn't take very much on my brush. Now I'm going to take kind of the star of the show. This is the Sephora eyeshadow in the shade Twinkle Twinkle. I discovered this in the Baby Let's Glow Outside set. So I'm gonna take this on my finger and apply it all over. Really want this to like pop on my eyes. So I'm going to also take the shade in this palette, the shade Diamond. It's actually a Super Shock Shadow formula. So I'm going to take this on my finger. Just add this like right on top. I feel like that did something. Do you guys, can you tell the difference? <laughs> I do, I feel like that added a little bit more like pop on my lid. And then I'm going to take tiny little brush and go in with the shade Pearl. It is this one right there. Add this to the inner corner. Then I'm gonna bring this down a little bit into like right here in my eye, just to even like brighten up my eyes even more. Now I'm going to take my pencil brush going with the shade Jasper, uh, the same shade we went in with in the crease and just lightly buff it, kind of in the outer part of my lower lash line. I don't want this to be very intense. That's like pretty much all I'm gonna do with the eyes. So let's go ahead and move on to lips. I have two different red lips I'm I'm thinking about using. I might go in with this one because I really haven't used this a whole lot. This is the Zara Ultimate in the shade UM15. It's a very pretty red and like I haven't used it pretty much since I got it, so why not? This has a really good line that is, makes it super easy to draw outline of your lips gorgeous red oh my gosh that is so pretty and it's so pigmented so it went on really fast okay hopefully this stays on I would hope so since it's like a matte shade but I don't know if it's transfer proof okay, definitely not like transfer proof but I think it'll stay pretty well like it's very matte before I do my mascara I'm going to take my Urban Decay D Slick because it's a holiday look I want it to last throughout the night then for an even more highlighted look, I'm gonna go back in with the Smashbox highlight. I think this intensifies it a bit. If you put it on after you put on your setting spray. Now I'm going to take my mascara. And before that, I think I actually want to use my LA Girl Ultimate Eye Liner in the shade Super Bright. Just to add another element of like openness to this look. All right, and now I'm going to add my mascara on my top and bottom lashes. All 
All right, guys, it feels so good to like get festive and kind of dressed up a little bit in terms of makeup. Haven't gotten this dressed up in makeup in a while and it, it's just fun, you know? I am really happy with how this look turned out. Like I said, it's it's simple enough in the eyes that you can really pull off like a very colorful lip. And that's kind of been what I'm more into lately. I'm not into like the super dramatic, deep smoky eyes for the holidays. You know, I like this because it brings your attention to the eyes in a way that's like very soft and ethereal. And then you have the pop of color for the holiday on your lip. So I hope you guys enjoyed this simple holiday look. If you did, let me know down below. Yeah, when you guys are seeing this, Christmas Eve is tomorrow. That's crazy. If you do celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas to you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.